My name is Oshoba Nathaniel. I developed an application called Ninja Survey. Ninja Survey is an application that helps you as a user to create survey questions and you can make it available for other users to help you fill out the question. The Ninja Survey was created with front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Ajax. Then on the server side, I used Python with Flask framework. I saw the need to develop this application because most people need to create questions and make questions available for people to help them fill. The questions where you don't need to carry your papers around and ask people to help you fill questionnaires. We are in a new in a new world and a better technology. So why not stay in the comfort of your home, create your questions, and make it available to people near you and far away from you. So, an overview of my application here, we have a user and you have the admin. The admin is the one that creates the, the, sur the template for the survey, while the user will have to create questions under a particular survey the admin has created. And on, on the landing page, you can see here yeah, you can create a new user, you can sign up. So at this point, I'm going to sign up now. So I'm signing up a new user now. Then if you notice this button is disabled, the create button. I, I, I was able to get this using jQuery. It's on the click of this once you agree to the terms and condition before the button will allow you to sign up. So now we are signing up a new user. A confirmation email will be sent to the user that an account has been created. So the, the, the account has been created, a mail has been sent, and this is the mail sent. On the user clicking this link, it takes the user to the login page. The user can sign up now. So the user is logged in here. So but before we go further, I would like an ad the admin to also sign up and create a template for the survey. So we are going to create a new category here. So a new category has been, has been created. If you go back to the home page, you see that the category that was just added by the, ad, by the admin is now displaying. So the user can now create a survey. So we are creating a survey tied to the, evolution, the revolution of cars since 1960. So we are going to be using the, you can see it's available, the one the admin just created now. I was able to also implement this using Ajax to submit questions. So you see I have a few questions to add. We we'll had the last question now. So now.
Now the user can go back and see the survey he has created. This is the survey that the user has created. So by default, the, the survey is closed because when you are creating questions, we don't want other users answering the questions when you are not done creating them. So we now make the survey open now. I can also allow another user from another end to log in and see the available surveys. So this user is already signed up before, so I'm just logging in the user. So the user can participate in a survey. On click of participate, it sees, you can see the new survey that, that was just added, Revolution of Cars since 1960. So it can help answer the questions. In this place, we pick this, this, and on submission, let you know that, okay, you are done. Thanks for the response. I was able to implement this using Flask. This was done using Flask to return a response. So if we go back to the user, you can also check to see anyone that has answered the question, that has helped fill out the question. So you see it has displayed one user answered this, your survey. Then on click of it, it shows you the answers given, the question and the answers given to it. And it shows you the name of the user that help you fill out your survey. So we can see allow other users fill the survey. I'll log this one out and then allow another user. This person here is also an existing user. So I just want him to participate, to take the survey that was created before. So if you go back to the user that created the survey, if you reload the page, you see that the new user that answered the, that filled out the survey has been, has been created, has been, has been noted. So the user can also check if he has part, participated in any survey before, if you want to participate in a new survey, then you can even still add new questions. Say you feel, okay, you can add a few questions to create, to continue. Maybe you want to increase the number of questions that is there. You can just add a, new, a few new questions. back and see that the number of questions here has increased. It was three questions before, now there are four questions and you can still see the questions. Want to make adjustments, can it did. Then the admin, the admin also has the right to ban a user. Let's say the user has defaulted in some of our terms and conditions, can set a restriction on the user. The new user that was created now, I'll set a restriction on the user. So the user is now restricted. So I log the user out. To log the user back in, your account has been restricted. So you see how interesting and how straightforward it is to create a survey from the comfort of your home and have users from all around the world help you fill out the survey. Thank you.